This video will demonstrate a few troubleshooting techniques to figure out why a specific linear feature is not displaying the crossing point within the cross section. So all of the annotation for cross sections is done within an annotation group and that's going to be found in the Open Road Standards annotation groups cross sections and it's going to be somewhere in here. So when you go to annotate your model it asks you which type of annotation group you want to use to annotate. So once you know which one that one is, that's the one that we're going to want to annotate. So this is the only one that I'm using in this model. It's this cross-section grid with annotation that is delivered with the Bentley workspace. So I'm going to annotate that. And I have this specific linear feature. This is a survey feature. And I want this included to be annotated in my cross-sections. However, when I run just the one that's delivered, it's not displaying. So I need to figure out how to get it to display. So I'm going to open up the annotation group. And right here, you can see this is where all of my points are being defined to be annotated. So if I click highlight selected, it'll show for this one that I have selected all of the different points that are going to be annotating. It looks like an offset and an elevation. So the first thing of why it might not be displaying could be the location. And maybe that specific point is not included in the filter. So I'm going to click these ellipses and open this up. So this is the annotation filter. This will filter all of the points. So first you need a list of points that you're going to apply a filter to. So you can either create your own list or you can use all of the points that are in the DGN, all, every single one, or you can create a list. Creating a list will allow it to process faster because it won't be as many points as if you use all the points. But this allows it to stay general and this honestly might be a good troubleshooting point. Go ahead and click use all points, remove all of the filters, remove everything here, apply expression changes, go to annotate, and can you see that it's annotating? If it's still not annotating, then you're going to have to look somewhere else. It might be that your text favorite isn't assigned right. So if you do see it, if it is annotating after you've clicked use all points, then something is wrong with the filter to where it is not adding that point to the filter. So as of now, I want that gravel line to be annotated. And this expression right here says that it's not going to annotate any point that has a feature definition of this geom baseline, baseline ramp, and baseline secondary. So I know that, that my gravel line is not any of these feature definitions. So I check out there. And then on top, this is going to annotate any point that is on top. So I know that my gravel line is not necessarily on top. So I'm going to want to remove this. And it looks like in this example, there's a list of points that are created that we need to filter through. So I need to check to make sure that this point is even in the list of points that we're filtering through. Click select points from template. And right here, this box contains all the points that are in the list of what will be filtered. So that filter applies to this list of points here. So I don't see my gravel point name in this list. This little box here really quick, you can select here and it'll automatically add, see it added a point there. However, my gravel line is not part of this template. So the way that you can add it here is just go out and select one over here. This ECCZL, I'll add it over there. It adds it to the very bottom. I'll double click and I'm going to add in the gravel. So EOGRVL3. So that's the name of my gravel linear feature that I want displayed as a crossing point in my cross section. So I've added it, I'll click exit. You can see over here, it's been added to my list of points. So now that that is all done, I can click apply expression changes. 
close out of that. I'm going to go to one of my drawing models and I'm going to annotate the model and this right here is my gravel line that was annotated with the offset and the elevation right there. 